I don't see, and this is not a criticism at all, but I don't see political humor in your humor. I think it's there two or three layers down. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that because we seem to be in the age where political humor is kind of like saving the bacon in the United States, that the comedians are stepping up and saying things and making us laugh, you know, the John Stewarts and all the rest of them, that have kind of ref given us some hope. Mm -hmm. um, do you ever think you would do pol overtly political humor? You know, like here's the thing. I, you know, Steve Martin and I have discussed this a lot, and we deliberately don't go out and do a show that Bill Maher might do or John Stewart might do because half our audience would be offended, and 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 at times you need a respite from politics, particularly now, and so why go political? We have a section where there's a Jiminy Glick puppet. It's sitting on Steve's arm, and it's, I'm wearing a black cloak, and it's a little puppet Velcro, and it's, but it's Jiminy's face. And, and um, we observe, we, we say, let's, let's judge who has style and doesn't have style in the media today. And through that, we do a lot of political, you know. Picture of Kellyanne Conway comes up, and I say, oh my God, it looks like someone dehydrated Ann Coulter. Or um, at one point, a p the picture of Jared and Ivanka come up, and Steve says, you know, Jiminy, do you know that Ivanka converted to Judaism when she married Jared Kushner? And I say, haven't the Jews suffered enough? <laughs> <laughs> so that's, you know, we get there. But then we try come to on, slip that's, in a Democrat. That's offending, that's offending the Fox News audience, isn't exactly. it? Yes, so you do, you are prepared to No, but to then the next picture might be um, Nancy Pelosi. Okay. Or it might be um, Joe Biden. So we do try to zing them all. Are you as, I don't want to say, viciously zinging one way or the other? Or are you, uh, vicious is the wrong word, but you know what I mean, with edge? No, listen, I am, I am as left as left can be, politically. But I do think that if you're paying lots of money to see Steve Martin and Martin Short <laughs> and you happen to be, um, you know, a conservative, you shouldn't leave that theater feeling badly about who you are. Right. Or, or personally offended. Which in theory is how real democracy works. We can disagree with you, but right. we can all leave the room in right. having our opposing sides in humor. Well, it would be as a bore. It would be like, um, what, then, so every time you see someone to be entertained, you have to be lectured? You know, I remember years ago when Jane Fonda won an Oscar for um, Clute, and it was at the height of Jane Fonda, Hanoi Jane, uh, liberal of liberals, and everyone was expecting her to use that podium when she won the Oscar, which she w was expected to win uh, as a statement. And she got up and said, took the Oscar and said, there are many things that need to be said, but this is neither the time or the place. Thank you so much for this. Yeah. And that seemed to make sense to me. Yeah.